Welcome to the latest episode of the miniature painting series. Today we will cover the steps to paint the Mega Boss from the Asylum Demon expansion. Asylum Demon is the first boss you face in Dark Souls, but I suggest not being the first miniature for you to paint. There is some blending to do in the belly, horns and bones to keep the texture interesting, and the surface doesn't help a lot. At the same time, it's not the hardest, and there are a lot of good references for this one. To start this project, you need the following colors. The first step, as usual, is priming the miniature. I detail the process of preparing the miniatures in another video, so don't forget to check it out before we start painting. For the second step, I use a thin layer of Hinox hide to paint the belly, claws, head, teeth and tail of the model. It is very important for this model to use thin layers so you don't lose the details of the texture when you are going to shade the miniature at a later step. I painted the rest of the model's skin with Caliban Green, blending softly with the brown parts. For the teeth, I used Yushpati bone and a fine brush. I darkened some of the methstone red with Abaddon Black to paint the eyes and gums. For the skin effect, I blended Ushbari Bone into the Hinox Hide in several layers to achieve this result. For the bones of the tail, it is the same process, but I left the upper part of the bone darker and the same for the area in between the bones. To help the blending effect and highlighting the tips of the bones, I dry brushed elder flesh. I did the same on some parts of the skin to give an effect close to the game. Use the Yush body bone for the skin under the wings too. Azalon Demon has some pink highlights on its skin, so I mixed methstone red and ceramic white for a light pink color and dry brushed some small patches over its skin to achieve this effect. This is when the monster comes to life. By applying some Agrax Earthshade, the shade enters the cracked details of the figure and creates a whole different look. The club starts with Mornfang Brown, and while it's drying, you can also paint the base with Abaddon Black. To highlight the club, I use Elder Flesh. Once it dried, I use Seraphine Sepia to darken a little bit the club. And this is the final result! I hope you enjoyed this tutorial, and if you have any constructive feedback, questions or suggestions, don't hesitate to drop in the comment section below. Let us know if you painted or intend to paint using any of the tutorials, I'm very curious to know if those are helpful. Also, hit the bell button to get a notification when the next episode is up. See you next time!